Hi everyone, I'm here again with um, my jelly cat elephant, and this is actually my second video to say because I'm kind of motivated. And in this video, I just um, wanted to show you something a little different um, because I was in town uh, yesterday. I'm sorry for <laughs> being kind of out of breath, um, it's kind of a uh, bear thing, but oh well. <laughs> I was in town yesterday and um, yeah, I uh, went shopping around a little bit and I found some stuff that really kind of makes me happy and I just wanted to share so maybe you'll like it. So um, the first thing that I found is um, I uh, there is a, the town where I live nearby there is a store that has like all things related um, all kinds of things related to England. So they have like, um, <clears throat> they have like mugs and, uh, china and, um, all kinds of different stuff like notebooks, postcards, things like that, like produced in, in England. And that is such a cool, like, store. I love going there. They also have Jelly Cat plush which is super cool. And um, the thing that I bought there was um, this cute little children's book. Um, I've never seen this before. Um, it's called The Secret Staircase by Jill Barklin. And um, it's a part of a series called Brambley Hedge. I think that's a uh, name of the place where the main characters live and that's this is the back um and um uh, yeah i love children's books um i, I kind of have a little collection of children's books um and as you might or might not know i want to be a children's book author myself so <laughs> and I took this with me because it had these really, really cute, um, classical looking illustrations, like, reminding, um, me of, like, the classic, like, late 19th, early, early 20th century, um, children's books, and even though it was, um, published in 1980, I think, um, yeah, so... They're not that old, but yeah, they were super cute. And the um, the main characters are mice, and as you all know, I love mice, so super cute. I'll just show you a few pages. Um, yeah, especially there there was one page that I can remember. Like here, it shows like all the like the inside of the place, and that's so cool. I think I used to love that as a child too, like these intricate drawings um, that, you know, uh, showed lots of details and um, where it um, showed like a living space, you know, that seemed like really lived in and cozy like this. Yeah, that's what that was the page I was looking for. Um, that is so sweet. <laughs> It shows, I think it's a kitchen, yeah, it's a kitchen, and there's all kinds of stuff laying around. And look at the, like, the, um, what's it called, mushrooms hanging from the ceiling, like, that's so cute. And, uh, I also love, like, the size, um, how the sizes compare, because the mushrooms are so big. But, of course, these are mice, and they're so little, so that's so cute. Um, yeah. So that was the little book that I found. I, I'm so looking forward to re actually reading it. It's in English, too. There were books in German. Uh, tr so, like, German translations of English books, but also some in, um, in English. So, yeah, that's a cool, nice little addition to my children's book collection that I have going. I could show you more um, children's books that I have. Um, I normally, like, I'm a fan of both 
the classical style of children's illust children's book illustration and of the more like um let's say contemporary one or the more um not abstract you cannot say abstract but not like this it's hard to explain <laughs> so yeah so that was that and then the second thing that i took with me was this thing that's like actually more for children but um i figured that i might take it with me because um i love birds and this is just um it's just like uh how do you how do you call it i i don't know how to call it but it has like um it has like yeah, there you can see it's actually for kids but i don't mind I'm a kid anyway, <laughs> so it, it has like um, these cards in it that have like the different kinds of birds on it and it and text like explaining facts about these birds. Um, and here you can see like all the important information and everything. So this is pretty neat. I mean, um, because I love birds, like all kinds of birds, they're like among my favorite animals. And, um, I mean, yeah, of course I could look all that stuff up in the, inter on the internet too, but, um, I figured it would be nice like to have like a set of actual paper cards because I love, I just love handling real paper, you know, and just flipping through things. And so that was the second thing that I got and I'm really happy about that like it a lot. I actually forgot to put that <laughs> back in. Yeah, so that's that. I hope you don't think I'm kind of silly because I bought that, but it wasn't that expensive, so I just scrapped it. I always pretend buying, like, presents for, um, you know, my little cousins or, um, or my kids, even though I don't have any, but, um, yeah, sorry, the, the sorry, the focus is kind of not working, okay, now it's working again, so that was that, and, um, then the last things that I got were these two little guys, and I normally don't really buy toys, um, new in the shop, as you all know, but for this I kind of made an exception because I just stumbled upon them, and yeah, they're like little figurines made by Schleich. I don't know if you know the brand. They make these figurines, and they, I think it's a, yeah, it is a German brand, so they're kind of popular here. And, um, yeah, the first one is a little hen, and, um, let me see if it it'll focus. Sorry, my nose is kind of runny. Um, yeah, it won't focus correctly, but it's a little hen, and I don't know. I just um, my grandmother she used to have hen um, hens, and um, I just love chickens. They're so cute and really underrated. Um, they're so nice. Like, they're nice animals, and they're so, like, I don't know, I like the sounds that they make, and it's just so cute. Um, and as, a, as you know, I like birds, so, um, yeah, I'm a chicken fan. <laughs> so, um, and that also kind of reminds me of my grandmother and, um, the times back then, and yeah, I don't know, kind of just makes me happy looking at the little hen, and yeah. So that's her. And then the next, the last thing that I got was this um, beautiful, pretty little bean. Um, it won't, won't focus apparently either, so let's just try. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't want to focus. Um, yeah, it's also a Schleich figure, and um, I thought it was so cute and so beautiful with the black snout and the big ears. And um, I think it's a, 
I don't know what the word is in English, um, but I think it's a female stag. Like, there are deer and there are stags, um, but they're like male deer and female stags, so they're not the same animal. So sh I think she is a, from, from what she looks like at least, um, she's a female stag. Um, and yeah, that actually reminds me of um, a few weeks back where we did a trip, a little trip with my family and through the, like, through the wood, like, taking a walk through the woods and stuff, and we saw, um, a few stags, and, um, they were so cute. I mean, it was a, it was a kind of, um, park, you know, it was not, like, we're not just walking through the woods, but it was, like, a park where you could feed them and stuff, so, yeah, they were so cute, and I really love her. I normally don't really collect, um, like, figurines of animals, except for dinosaurs, but, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. It just came to me to buy them, so, yeah. I can do that once in a while, so, yeah, so that's that. They really make me happy. Um, yeah, so, um, that was a little different from what I normally do, so, um, I really hope you like this video, and um, hope you all have a great day. See you soon. Bye!